Okay, now developing news out of Venezuela where a rowdy crowd wielding wooden sticks and metal bars stormed Congress. And they were met with no resistance from security. That group is actually in support of President Nicolas Maduro and their intended target were lawmakers who were part of the opposition. Many people left bloodied and bruised. Local 10 News reporter Cody Weddle live in Caracas. He has the very latest on the situation there. Cody. That's right. Uh, we learned just after noon today that these pro-government gangs had stormed into the National Assembly today. They had tubes, they had fireworks, uh, and they went on the attack. They attacked opposition lawmakers. At least three lawmakers uh, were injured. Very bloody scenes coming out of the National Assembly. Uh, and people there remain uh, secluded inside the National Assembly at this hour, afraid to leave because those pro-government gangs are still outside. We got a taste of why. We were on another story today when we heard of this. We went to the National Assembly, uh, very cautiously approached the entrance. It seemed calm at that point. Uh, the guard didn't let us in. And then when we were leaving, one of these pro-government gangs grabbed uh, me by the arm. Uh, three or four of them surrounded me there. They started going through my things, going through the, my backpack. And, and finally, uh, a, a journalist there who had earned their trust came over and she helped me out. Um, and I was able to, to get out of that situation, thankfully, but they did steal the gas mask that I had there. They, they denied that they had taken that from me. So a very dangerous situation. And these folks uh, were very violent today. Now, Nicolas Maduro, the president, um, condemning this. Today is Independence Day. He was at celebrations today and he condemned uh, this violence. But for those who were uh, injured today with very bloody injuries, uh, they're probably wanting more than words today from the president. In Caracas, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. And Cody, I, I know you speak as a reporter and as journalists, we're trained to be dispassionate about stories. But when you're involved in something like that, uh, that's certainly life threatening. Uh, how are you doing? And, uh, and what happened to your gas mask? I mean, will it be sold on the black market or what do you think will happen to it? The gangs will hold on to it or what? Well, I'm fine. I was uh, a little uh, shaken, of course. Uh, it's, uh, it's jarring when someone tells you you can't leave. I mean, these folks told me I couldn't, couldn't move, couldn't go uh, from that spot. They wanted to take me to another place, and I sort of uh, refused to, to go where they wanted to go. And all along, police and National Guard were actually watching this situation. Uh, so I'm fine at this point. Uh, the gas mask it's lost at this point. They'll probably sell it. They may use it themselves. There's so much tear gas in Caracas these days that uh, almost anybody could use a gas mask and, and they're hard to get your, their hands on. So I'm sure they'll find uh, some use for that. And Cody, all of this happened after that rogue cop fired on government buildings via helicopter that made big news. Uh, was he involved today? He was not involved, but this morning another video surfaced of him uh, and I think we've reported about that, uh, saying uh, he surfaced in another video on social media saying that that at attack went off as planned, that he had just planned to damage buildings and uh, continuing to insist that he is part of a uh, rebellion here. Uh, so another uh, big story today is he reappeared on social media. He says he's in Caracas and authorities say they're still looking for him, but uh, we just don't know where. Our intrepid reporter based in Caracas, Cody Weddle, be safe out there and uh, thanks a lot for your reporting.